everyone, it's Shannon and welcome to my channel, The Daily DIYer. I've decided to sit down and get cozy with you as we reflect back on 2020. So I'm gonna share with you, you guys' top 10 DIYs along with my favorite DIY and then I'm also gonna share with you some of the high points and some of the exciting things that happened this year. So I think 2020 can probably be categorized as one of those difficult years, maybe not so much of a positive year, but I think if you take a step back, look at things, and maybe there are some positive, exciting things that have happened this year that you can take into the new year and build from. And that's definitely how I have looked at this channel. I've learned so much this year. It was difficult even for YouTubers, um, if you can even believe that. I'm sure it was in every aspect of everyone's life in some way or another. So before the pandemic even started in 2020, I was so fortunate to join two of my friends, Courtney and Jennifer, on a trip to Arizona to the Creativation Conference. I had such high hopes at the beginning of the year that this was going to really set things off. We went back in February and we were gonna learn so many new techniques, new products, as well as meet people who were in our same realm of crafting and DIYing. So it's definitely a wonderful experience, one that I will cherish forever. I'll have that video linked down in the description box so you can go back and watch our experience there. Now, of course, things got really crazy from that point on, but we had planned a wedding uh, for the summer of 2020, and we weren't even sure if that wedding was gonna be able to take place until about three weeks before our big day. We were really fortunate the way we planned it and our vendors and the people that we had involved in making this day come together were personal friends. So it all came together perfectly and we could not have been more happy, more blessed, or more in love. So even through a pandemic, we still got married this past summer. Again, that's one of the short videos that I have here on YouTube, and I'll link that down in the description box. After the wedding, we pretty well just tried to stay home and we tried to work on projects around the house. One of the big projects we had been wanting to do was actually remodel our bathroom. So we live in a 100 plus year old home and so it all, the whole entire thing really just needs renovated all together. So we decided to tackle the bathroom. It was a month long project. I also of course documented that. So I will link those videos down in the description box below too. So that was a fun process. It was a huge, beautiful before and after. You just won't believe the big difference. I still can't believe what a big difference it looks like in there. So I'm so excited to tackle the rest of the house in 2020. So if you aren't subscribed, please do. We have so much more planned for the new year. Another high point of the year was getting together with some other DIY YouTubers that we have become friends with throughout the, this journey of YouTube. And we actually went down to Magnolia and rented an Airbnb. We were at Magnolia for a short period of time, but really we spent most of our time at the Airbnb just talking and having some of that community uh, and just getting to know each other and it's just kind of really great to uh, connect with people who understand your way of life because this is definitely a different way of life one that I'm so blessed and grateful for but it's also even for fr my friends and family it's a little bit hard to understand so being around people who uh, get it uh, was was a definitely a big high point in this year so of course I have a video documented that as well and I'll link it down below. I also started a brand new channel, The Cozy Christmas Cottage, and so that has been a lot of work, a lot of time, a lot of preparation. We actually started designing it this time last year. We launched it back in August, so I'm excited to have a full year of dedicated time and effort into this new channel. I would love to have you come over and subscribe to that as I have some unique ideas that I'm gonna be sharing Christmas ideas, tips, tricks, DIYs, decor ideas, but in a unique way over there that will be throughout the year. So yes, if you love Christmas, definitely the place to go. So I'm so blessed to have had close to 35,000 subscribers join that channel this year. If you'd like to become part of our Cozy Christmas Cottage family, I'll link that down in the description box too. 
And I think the absolute biggest thing of this whole year was finishing the she shed. And so this fireplace that you see next to me was the last huge project on that list. And finally, I have a finished space that I can work in. So this next year, I'm hoping that will create a very productive space for me to be able to create content and wonderful ideas for you here in the new year. Again, I will put the playlist to the She Shed build in the description box. I want to do a big tour of the finished space after I get Christmas down, so be looking for that video coming up very soon in January. Now I want to move on and share with you you guys' top 10 DIYs of 2020. We're going to start at 10 and work our way to the most viewed DIY of 2020. Starting at number 10 was this $5 general Christmas DIYs video. This was the very first one I had ever done and you guys seem to really, really love it. So be looking for more dollar general DIYs in the new year. Up at number nine is the DIY shiplap that you can create for under $20 per panel. It was a very quick and easy way to get an authentic look of shiplap in your home. Coming in at number eight was my craft room tour, which is in the She Shed. I think you guys were really looking forward to this as you followed along on my She Shed build journey. So this is a fun reveal. Number seven was also another She Shed video. This was the first one I shared of the inside where we had the flooring and a lot of it finished and started bringing in the furniture. At number six is this DIY Dollar Tree side table that I created using plunger handles. So make sure to check out this video if you haven't yet. I was excited to see this video pop in at number five. This was actually a collaboration video with several other DIY YouTubers where we had sent each other mystery boxes of Dollar Tree items and then had to use those to come up with new ideas to share with you all. Coming in at number four was this compilation of 10 farmhouse Dollar Tree DIYs. This was actually a video of my favorite farmhouse style DIYs using Dollar Tree supplies. You guys seem to really love this, so be looking for a new one of these in the new year with brand new farmhouse style projects. I love a good Ikea hack, so I was excited to see this one come in at number three. It is a cabinet system with a countertop. I have this in my she shed and it stores and holds and organizes all of my craft supplies and also gives me a work surface on top. So make sure to check this video out if you haven't yet. This one came in at number two. It is a Dollar Tree DIY. I used their beautiful garden decorative pieces to create this faux trellis door. It was a high-end knockoff that turned out beautiful using really inexpensive pieces to create a high-end look. And the number one video of 2020 was this 35 Christmas Dollar Tree DIYs video that was jam-packed full of holiday inspiration. Now for my own personal favorite DIY of 2020, I love budget-friendly DIYs, but I also love, love, love to do renos and remodels. And the biggest one of the year was a uh, idea that I had in my head for two years. So to finally see it come together this year and last month was this fireplace. This was a big project. It was not a budget friendly project. It was just one of those dreams that you have in your head that you just watch come to life. You put a lot of work into it. You put a lot of thought process into it. So even though this wasn't a Dollar Tree DIY, it was my personal favorite DIY of the whole entire year. I have always dreamed of having a mantle to decorate for the different holidays and seasons, so be sure to know that in 2021, I will be putting up a lot of mantle decor ideas. And of course, with Valentine's Day coming up, I'm so excited to add some pinks and reds and hearts and some cute decor to the mantle, so make sure to stay tuned for that. 
I know I have referenced so many different videos throughout this one video, so make sure to check the description box below for links to each individual one that maybe you caught your attention and you wanna go back and watch. And make sure to head over to the Cozy Christmas Cottage, subscribe for more Christmas inspiration throughout the year. And of course, subscribe because 2021 is going to be another big, exciting, and inspirational year. And I'd love to have you join me on that journey. And I personally want to thank every single one of you and give you well wishes that you have an amazing new year.